Hi everyone, I'm Ori Cohen from Epic Games. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you some of the, the new features we've been working on in 4.2, specifically the, the vehicles. Uh, I'm going to be doing a few of these uh, videos just to get you up and running. Uh, the first one will just be a very simple um, setup, and after that we'll, we'll actually look at some, some more advanced stuff. So to start off, we'll just make a new project. We'll call it uh, My Vehicle, whatever, My Vehicles, and we'll start that. Um, for this, what we've done is we actually have a, a very simple mesh that we're going to be using, and I'm actually going to make the, the FBX file available for you guys to download and import, so you can just go ahead and, and follow along. So the first thing I'll do is I'm going to go and import that. And one of the things that you'll notice is that it's coming in as a static mesh. Uh, the reason for this is that we don't actually have a skeleton uh, set up in the FBX, and that's okay because in, inside Maya, we've already created the correct hierarchy for this model. And because the car doesn't have any kind of skinning, we can just go ahead and go to Advanced and pick Import Rigid Mesh, and Unreal will automatically create all that stuff for you. So if you just do that and hit Import, uh, and you can ignore this, then it should set everything up correctly for you. So if we double click on this, uh, this file here, you can actually see the car, and you can see the the setup here. So we have the car body and the four different tires. So go ahead and close that. Uh, one of the other files that gets created for you automatically is this physics asset. So in here you can actually see the rigid bodies that have been created for this car. Uh, one of the things is uh, the way FAT works is it just tries to set everything up as capsules but for the car body we don't actually want this so if you reset that and pick box you'll get something a little bit more uh, sane. So, and that's actually all we're going to do for now, so just go ahead and save that. And uh, the next thing we're going to do is uh, start actually creating cars. So to do that, you want to make a new blueprint and go to Custom Classes, search for uh, Vehicle, and you'll see this wheeled vehicle, which is actually uh, a pawn. Uh, so open that up, and I'll just call it My Car, uh, and bring it up. And if you go to the Components tab, you can see there's there's two components. There's the Vehicle Movement component and the Mesh. Uh, and we, we have a Mesh, so I'm just going to go ahead and assign it to our car. So you can see this here. And now to get it into the world, uh, actually what I'm going to do first is I'm, I'm just going to create a new level so that we don't have any of this stuff. So I'll, I'll just take this and make it a little bit bigger. Uh, okay, and uh, like I was saying, we want to actually be able to use this car. So to do that, we'll go to the world settings, and we'll create a, a new game mode. We'll call it My Car Game. Uh, and if we go to it, in defaults, uh, you want to change this default pawn to My Car. And that's all you need to do to get the car into the game. Now, as you can see, this is not uh, ideal. So now we'll just go through and, and actually fix it up. So if we go into my car, uh, the first thing you want to do is go to the defaults and search for wheel. And in here you can see that there's four different wheels. And we haven't actually given a, a bow name for it. And we need to give it a bow name so that it actually knows which rigid bodies to use. So if we, if we go back to the, uh, the physics asset, You can see that there's these uh, these four different names for the tires. So tire front left, tire rear left, and so on. So we just want to go ahead and assign all of those. So tire front left, tire front right, tire rear left, tire rear right. And uh, one one tip actually is you'll notice that as I'm typing this, it's all lowercase. But when I hit enter, you can see that the T gets big, which lets me know that I actually spelt it correctly. So uh, I'll do that. And if I hit play now, it still doesn't look great because of the camera. But you can see that there's actually some tires on the screen. And it's, it's not shifting to the right like it was before. So let's just go ahead and, and fix this camera. So uh, we'll go to back into the car. and add uh, a spring arm. I'm not really going to discuss the, the spring arm too much. Uh, I think we have some other tutorials on how to set this up. Uh, I'm just going to set it up to be 
uh, 600 length and oops, 600 length and uh, put it somewhere around here. Uh, and all, all this is going to do is it's just going to put the camera all the way here and prevent it from hitting world geometry. If you want to know more about that, uh, th there's more tutorials specifically for that. So I'm just going to add a camera and attach it to the spring arm. And if I set the location to 0, 0, 0, then you can see the camera's already uh, set up correctly. So now if I save that and I go back in here, uh, so now we can actually see the, the car a little bit better. But one problem is, you can't really tell, but there's, there's no input. So we need to actually map uh, the keyboard input. So to do that, we'll just go into the uh, preferences, uh, edit project settings, uh, and under input, we want to add uh, an axis mapping. So we'll go ahead and uh, call it forward. And so uh, I'll just make W forward uh, and S will be backwards uh, and we also want to be able to move left and right so call it uh, steering actually let's just call it right to keep with the convention here so uh, we have this right so I'll assign D to the right um, and a to the left, and uh, I actually need to make this minus one and this minus one. So now we have uh, two different axes that we can actually use. So go ahead and close that. And now in the car, if you go to the graph and you right click and you type in uh, forward, you'll actually get this forward axis event. So we have the forward and we have the, uh, the right axis up here. Uh, and now we can actually use this to set something on the car. So if you go back into the components for a sec, you'll see there's this vehicle movement component. And this is what we need to, to interact with in, in Blueprint. So if we type in uh, vehicle movement, we get this here. And so we want to do, uh, we want to set the throttle on it. So set throttle input. And we can just connect this directly to our uh, forward axis. And we also want to set our steering. And that's it. So now if we go back in here, you hit play, you notice that the car <laughs> moves forward, but the tires actually stick around. So the reason for this is that if we go back in into here, um, the way that the tires are updated is, uh, is actually through the animation system. So the animation system queries our vehicle simulation and then updates these. Um, and because of that, you, you need to actually set these these four tires to have uh, here for the physics type, you need to set it to be kinematic. Uh, and that way when you do it, it will it'll know to actually update. So we'll go ahead and we'll save that. And now if we hit play, you can see the, the tires are not, they're not falling behind. But you can see that the camera is actually uh, not really doing the right thing. So uh, the reason for that is that when I've set up my camera, uh, it's actually set up right now to follow the uh, camera. It's set up to, to use the controller view rotation. Uh, you don't want to do this for cars because we already have the, the spring arm uh, doing the right thing. And we also want to add some... Actually, I'll, I'll just show you this first. So, okay, so if we go back in here... Uh, so now, this is kind of doing the right thing, but one thing that you'll notice is the camera is, is fixed very tightly on the car, which isn't really what you want because usually in, in car games you can see the car turning a little bit. So to fix that, we'll just go back uh, and click on the spring arm and we actually have this uh, enable camera rotation leg. So if you turn that on, you can see as we turn there's a, a little bit of a leg. Um, so one thing that you, you can probably tell is that the tires are not actually rotating. Uh, so we'll, we'll go ahead and, and fix that, and then that'll be it for, for this video. So to do that, uh, we'll go back in here, and 
we'll go on the mesh. And you can see that there's this uh, option for anim blueprint generated class, and it's set to none. So we actually need to make an animation blueprint. So to do that, we'll go uh, new animation, animation blueprint. And it's important to pick the vehicle, uh, vehicle anim instance. The reason is we have uh, a node that's specific for vehicles so that we can automatically update the, the tire. So pick that and, and pick your skeleton and give it a name, uh, my car anim. And if we open that up, you can actually see the car. Uh, so drag off the final animation pose and type in this uh, wheel handler for wheel vehicle. And this node uh, pretty much just queries the physics simulation for the position of the tires and then updates it uh, for you. And uh, another thing is you need to drag off this and get the mesh space ref pose. So we'll, we'll leave that there and save. And oh, sorry. And uh, I, I need to actually assign it. So if you go back to your car, under the anim blueprint, uh, now we can pick my car anim, and hit play. Now you can see that the all four tires are rotating, but you can actually see that the tires are moving. Uh, so, so actually, that's the last thing we need to change is we don't want the back tires to, to rotate. The reason why it's doing that is that by default we we just have a, a steering angle. And we haven't actually specified what the the tire classes are. So let's let's do that right now. So we'll add a new blueprint, call and yeah, and, and search for uh, wheel. And here under vehicle wheel, pick that and call this my front wheel. If you open this up, uh, you can see there's a whole bunch of settings. We're just gonna leave this all as it is. You can see that the steer angle by default is 70, which is why. Uh, the back tires right now are, are turning. So if we want to fix that, we just need to make a, another one. Uh, search for wheel, pick vehicle wheel, and we'll call this my back wheel. And if we bring this up, uh, we want to change the steering angle to zero. And now if we go into the car, if you go to defaults under wheels, uh, you can see here we have the wheel class for, for each one of these. So instead of vehicle wheel, which is the default, we'll just go ahead and use our our own. So the front two will be the front and the back will be back. And now if we hit play, you can see that the, the back tires are actually doing the right thing. And it's kind of hard to see because of the, the shading the material, but you can actually see that the tires are rotating. Um, so that's that's all we're gonna do for now. Uh, in the next video, I'm actually gonna talk a little bit more about the the tuning of the the engine and the transmission and how to get the different behaviors. And after that, we'll we'll be looking at some more stuff. So uh, stay tuned and hope to see you again.